Okay. Now, please welcome Zach Berger, speaking on behalf of the class valedictorians. Congratulations, class of 2018, and good evening to all. My name is Zach Berger, and I have the honor today of giving one of our class's farewell addresses. The challenge I had in writing this speech was determining how I could represent the experiences of the 350 individuals behind me. We come from diverse backgrounds with different personalities, different hopes, different dreams, and different aspirations that make each of us unique. We are simply more than this speech. We are athletes, we are scholars, we are dancers, actors, and musicians who have spent four years at Hillsdale trying to get ourselves closer to those hopes, those dreams, and those aspirations. So the question for me became, what could I possibly say? I can stand here and regurgitate valedictorian cliches heard again and again and again. Work hard. We have potential. We are the future. Mark Zuckerberg is definitely a lizard person, and Ted Cruz is the Zodiac Killer. But I'm sorry to say, because I actually figured we could talk about someone that four years of English class has made us all hate just a little bit, and that's William Shakespeare. <laughs> and I know, I know, I know, I can hear it in you guys. We just graduated. We don't really want to hear about Shakespeare. But if he's good for anything, it's a graduation speech, so bear with me. Because this, this year we read Hamlet, and in that play there's a character named Polonius, whose son, Laertes, is headed off to college. It's similar to what's happening here today. And as Laertes is departing, Polonius gives his son some really solid advice. Markedly, don't deal with loan sharks, don't die in a bar fight. <laughs> but there's also one really famous line that seems more than appropriate for the occasion. This above all. To thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night the day, thou canst not then be false to any man. To be true to yourself suggests the existentialist concept of authenticity. And I know, I know, we still just graduated, we don't really want to hear about philosophy, but if philosophy is good for anything, it's a graduation speech, so keep bearing with me. Philosophers of the 20th century, Nietzsche, Camus, and Sartre, championed authenticity, where the individual understands and embraces himself. What makes Hillsdale special is its ability to push students in every aspect of their life and bring out that authenticity in an individual. In my limited experience, I hearken back to when Mr. Gallagher walked me through music auditions, providing me advice on how to grow as a jazz pianist and pull the musicality out of me. How my STEM teachers, Stallings, Bissell, Childress, Laskatov, and Lazar, <laughs> They helped me start the Hillsdale Science Club and literally electrocute a pickle to demonstrate physics, all in order to help nurture my passion for teaching others. So when I go back to my initial question, I ask, what to say? I'm a very specific kind of student. I studied hard, I got good grades, and I'm going to a four-year school. In other words, I'm a lanky, school-loving nerd. But we're at a fork in the road, and everyone here will follow their own path. Some of us will be choosing a fulfilling career in the trades. Many will continue their education at two-year and four-year public and private institutions. Still others have chosen to serve us in our country in one of the branches of the military. After all, yeah, <laughs> I agree. But if we are to be authentic, we must choose the path that is appropriate to our individual hopes and our dreams and our aspirations. Hillsdale sees that. While Ms. Burtness has had plenty of college officers come tell us about their schools. She has scheduled trade specialists to talk about their careers, and she has coordinated plenty of CSM reach out. Military personnel hang out right there above me every few weeks to talk to students. Hillsdale has encouraged us to thrive in the way we are most true to ourselves. Because there are people here who would never choose to write a five paragraph essay, but can draw or paint a picture that is far more powerful than a thousand words. For that, we have Ms. Lynch, Ms. Colchi, and Mr. Papsiak to thank. To the people who find it nerve-wracking uh, and difficult to give an academic presentation but can get up in front of an audience and belt out a dramatic monologue or a song that evokes feelings of sadness and joy, like in Night Moves and Rent Hit and Les Mis, we have Miss Gamlin, Sabrina, 
Mr. Yell and Ian Anstey to thank for that. To the people who express themselves through competition and sport, Mr. Perotti, Mr. Buster, Mr. Madison, Coach Rodman, and the tons of other coaches who push us to be better, we have them to thank. And to those who struggle with grades but blossom in club life, like in GSA, Model UN, Robotics, Yearbook, Culinary Club, and Newspaper, we have advisors like Mr. Tsao, Mr. Springman, Ms. Press, Mr. Stallings, Ms. Blight, and the scores of other advisors to thank for dedicating their time and their effort. So when I look at my friends, I think the best way to celebrate our graduation is to highlight what makes us distinct, special, and therefore authentic in our own ways. Fortunately, uniqueness and authenticity ooze out of this class. I am authentic when I improvise on stage. Plunk, <laughs> thank you. Um, when I plunk away at notes on the piano, and especially when I'm conspiring fun ways to teach science, like by hitting watermelons here in the great court and lighting my fellow classmates' hands on fire. I see people here who embrace for what they believe in, are impassioned in what they fight for, win football games 14 to 13, and fight for who they are. <laughs> to the class of 2018, as Polonius said to Laertes, keep being true to yourselves. Your unwavering authenticity will take you far. And I know, because as I stand here today and look at all of you, I can see it already has. when I am not afraid to fail. I am most authentic when I involve myself in communities that allow me to work towards something bigger than just myself. I am most authentic when I have no preconceived notions or developed plans about how things should be, whether it's in improv, class presentations, or life in general. I am most authentic when I am surrounded by the people that I love, my friends or my family, and doing things that I love, whether it be playing a sport, planning an activity, or learning something new. I am authentic when I think critically, because critical thinking is a grueling process. It's when you examine both your reality and your preconceived notions in the world. You'll notice many inconsistencies that you'll need to work out. I will become authentic when I can look my parents in the eye and say, I made it. I am most authentic when I'm with the people that make me laugh and that I love, my friends and my family. I am most authentic when I stand or kneel for what I believe in. I am most authentic when I'm working on improving myself, whether it's on the cello, in academics, or juggling. I am most authentic when I'm striving to improve the world around me while being surrounded by, peop by amazing people. I found this authentic self at Hillsdale as I strove and succeeded in improving the robotics and newspaper clubs and meeting so many amazing and supportive teachers and friends. So, class of 2018, stay true, and thank you. Thank you, Zach.